Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sean and Julie, and we are at our first ever Cracker Barrel. Yeah, first one in five years. So why did we stay here, Sean? Why did we stay here? <laughs> well, we stayed here because we are really trying to beat feet to Florida. And so we didn't make reservations anywhere, which is totally unlike me. And so when we got close to a campground that we had thought about staying at, what'd they say? They were full. No room at the inn. So then I looked at freecampsites.net and found a rest area that said you're allowed to stay there, but we got there. The only place you were allowed to stay was up front in the truck area, and it was so loud. Yeah, it was too noisy. So I saw on Campendium that someone had commented about this Cracker Barrel, and we said, we've never stayed at a Cracker Barrel. Let's give it a try. And it was nice. I mean, we went in and had dinner, came out here. There were three other RVs here, but it was very quiet in the back. People always ask what we can access with a slide in. So you can see right here, once we get a bike rack, that bike won't be there. But even with it, I can totally access the refrigerator and the sink. The things on the table there, right before we leave, I'll place them on the floor, right there in front of the sink usually. So those are like the little breakable items I just pack in those two bins. Um, so we can fully access the entire kitchen, the stove, everything. And then over here, obviously we can fully access both of the recliners going up the stairs or from the bedroom. The bathroom is fully accessible and everything in there is fully accessible. And the bedroom right now is where we put the other bike. So it's really kind of tight on my side of the bed until we get that bike rack up. And then the one bedroom slide comes in to Sean's side of the bed. So right now with that bike there and then with the slide closed, we both have to slide down to the end of the bed and just use the hallway to get to the bathroom. So it's still doable, but we have to put that bedroom slide out for him to be able to get some of his clothes. And then, like I said, we have to slide down to the end of the bed to get out to the bathroom. And the bathroom is fully accessible. We also last night chose to pull our stairs in. We have those type of stairs that are inside the RV. We just reached down and pulled them in so they weren't hanging out in the parking lot. They kind of go into another space. So with dinner, we didn't really save money, but this is right off the interstate. So it does, it is convenient. And you can stay here without buying anything, but that's just kind of rude. Yeah. So we're gonna load it up and hit the road and uh, we say, yeah, Cracker Barrel works. Yeah. So Sean, why didn't we get breakfast at the Cracker Barrel this morning? Well, we had dinner there and then today's Veterans Day. So Pilot Flying J, it's free breakfast for veterans. Thanks, Pilot. So get the app if you don't have it, the Pilot Flying J app. It has all kinds of different uh, drink and food specials. Like sometimes they'll have couple bucks off a subway sandwich which is you know decent food when you're driving so go ahead and check that out and that's how we found out about the veterans day thing pretty awesome